In this video, we're going to be looking at this problem where we have the mean value of the function fx equals 2x plus 5 in the interval a to b is 13, and in the interval a to 3b is 25. Calculate the values of a and b. Okay. Now, this is quite a fiddly problem uh, because you can very easily um, get to some complicated algebra and we'll see if we can uh, um, cut it off at the pass, so to speak. So, the first bit, let's go with the first bit of information. The mean value of the function f of x equals 2x plus 5 in the interval a to b is 13. So, 1 over b take away a times the integral between a and b of 2x plus 5 dx, that must be equal to 13. So the mean value is 13 between a and b. So we have 1 over b take away a times by, now we've got the 2x plus 5 integrates to x squared plus 5x, Evaluated between a and b, that's going to be equal to 13. So we have 1 over b take away a, times by, substituting the b, we get b squared plus 5b. Substituting the a, we're going to get take away a squared, take away 5a, equals 13. Now the problem is that if we run with this, okay, you can multiply both sides by b take away a and um, simplify it down and do the same with the other bit of information. The problem is going to be uh, actually solving those two simultaneous equations with these quadratic terms involved as well as linear terms. It's going to be messy. So we want to see if we can actually find and spot a way of dealing uh, with this head on. In fact, the spot is, can we actually factor out b take away a from this bracket in order to knock out this fraction? That would be really useful because that would knock out the squared terms. Okay, So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Now, factorising in that form is quite challenging to do in generally, so I would suggest using a bit of polynomial division. So effectively, what I want to do is divide this by b take away a. That's going to get me the factor I want. So I'm going to do b take away a. And what I want is I'm going to need a b squared. Remember, anything that's going in here is stuff that I want to have. And I need to get those four terms in here. So if b squared's there, that's going to have to be b. b times minus a is minus ab. But unfortunately, I don't want any minus ABs. So I'm going to have to add on AB. Bs into that go A. Um, then A times minus A is minus A squared. So currently, I've got two of the terms. I've got the B squared, I've got the minus A squared, and the ABs are cancelling one another out. Now, I also need a 5B and a minus 5A. So if I put 5B in here, I'm going to get that as 5 and minus 5a, which is precisely what I want. So I don't need to go any further. So that means that we have 1 over b take away a times um, b take away a, which I've just shown as a factor, times by a plus or b plus a plus 5. b plus a plus 5 equals 13. So conveniently, the b take away a's cancel. leaving me with b plus a plus 5 equals 13. So a plus b must be equal to 8. OK, and that's going to be equation number 1. Now, let's see if I can do a similar job with the other bit of information. So we know that the mean value is 1 over 3b take away a times the integral between a and 3b of 2x plus 5, integrated with respect to x, uh, and that's equal to 25. 
So I've got V1 over 3B take away A times by x squared plus 5x evaluated between a and 3b that's got to be equal to 25. So 1 over 3b take away a times by substituting the 3b I'm going to get 9b squared plus 15b substituting the a we're going to get take away a squared take away 5a is equal to 25. Now, in a similar deal to what we had up here, can I find uh, 3b minus a as a factor of this bracket? That would be really useful. So, the alternative is that if that wasn't the case, I could always rearrange that one and then substitute it into this one and solve. So, let's see what happens. So, I want 3b minus a. Okay, so that's what I'm dividing by. So inside I'm going to have the 9b squared, which means that's got to be 3b, which means I'm going to have minus 3ab. But I don't want any 3ab's, so that's going to have to be 3ab. So that means that's going to have to be a, and that's going to have to be minus a squared. So I've got the 9b squared and the minus a squared sorted. Now I'm going to need... 15b, so this is going to have to be 15b, which means that's going to have to be 5, and I'm going to get minus 5a there, which is what I want there. Excellent, so it is a factor. So I've got 3b minus a times by 3b plus a plus 5. Okay. So these cancel, and I'm going to be left with um, 3b plus a plus 5 equals 25, which implies that a plus 3b must be equal to 20. And this is equation number 2. Okay. So if I do equation number two, take away equation number one, uh, I'm going to get a take away a is zero, 3b take away b is 2b. I've got 20 take away 8, uh, which is 12. So b must be equal to 6. And substituting it into equation one, we're going to get a plus 6 is equal to 8. So a must be equal to 2. Okay, so a equals 2, b equals 6 solves this problem.